Unpack. Remove all accessories from the desktop. According to the machine picture, install the machine sheet metal and dust removal pipe. Connect the compressed air of 0.6-0.8 MPa to the machine. 90-120 Si. Connect the vacuum pipe to the vacuum pump behind the machine. Connect the power required by the machine. Install the tools used and place them in the tool library. Next, introduce the machine operation. Make sure the input voltage is within the normal range. Turn on the machine. If the machine voltage is 3 ADV, ensure that the input voltage does not exceed 410 V and does not lower than 370 V. After the machine is turned on, the system will have some prompt messages. If it is an emergency stop, please turn the stop button clockwise to remove the prompt. The other hint is that the XYZ axis has not returned to the mechanical origin. Click OK with the mouse. Then select the ZRN mode. Click Cycle Start. The machine will start to move. First, the Z axis will move up, the X axis will move to the left, and the Y axis will move forward. The machine will stop in the lower left corner. Watching the screen, Z plus, X dash, Y will turn yellow. This means that all axes have returned to the origin of the machine. Notice. Every time you turn on the machine, you need to complete this operation. Back to the machine origin position. Select the jog mode, and then click the XYZ key to move the machine. Check what the number after sp.t.no on the screen is. Then remove the corresponding tool holder from the tool library and put it into the spindle. In the jog mode, press and hold the green button on the spindle for 1 to 2 seconds, the tool can be installed or removed. When installing the tool holder, make sure that the inside of the spindle is clean, the tool holder is clean, and the top screw is not loose. There are some function keys on the display. You can click test. In the jog mode, click on them to turn them on or off. When the dust hood rises or falls, the vacuum pump and the dust collector are turned on or off. Position the rising or falling of the cylinder.
Install the cutting tool. There is a seat for removing tools on the machine, and there is a wrench in the toolbox. Keep sensor surface clean. Automatically measure all tool lengths. Click the leftmost back key multiple times. Select F3 setup. F8 ATM. In the upper left corner, the ATM mode is M to M. Click the right side of T.NO with the mouse, then input the tool number to be automatically measured, and enter. F1ATM.ST, start automatic measurement. The spindle will automatically grab the corresponding tool. After crawling the tool, the spindle moves to the top of the sensor, so that the tool touch sensor three times. Then the Z-axis rises to the zero position, and the measurement is complete. Then enter other tool numbers. Continue to automatically measure other tools. Like this, the tools that need to be used for measurement. Finally, measure the number 1 tool. Use tool number 1 to set the work origin of the XY axis. Now set the working coordinates of the XY axis. Turn on the MPG handwheel mode. Point to the X axis and turn it clockwise or counterclockwise to the wheel to move the X axis. Speed points to X100. Positioning cylinder rises.
so that the tool blade portion, near the left positioning cylinder, Click the back button, green button, on the left again several times. Then F3 setup. First click on the X position under G54. After turning blue. F3 teach in. Set X. After set X subtract the radius of the tool from the number obtained. The tool I used is 6 mm, so I subtracted 3 mm. Then move the tool to the position of the front cylinder. Tool edge close to the cylinder. First click Y under G54. Then set Y subtract the radius of the tool from the resulting number. In this way, the intersection of XY is obtained. Here is the position of the work coordinate XY0. When running the file, it will start from here. Click to return to the cutting position. The spindle will move to the coordinate position just set. Next, set the work origin position of the Z-axis. I demonstrated to set the Z-axis origin on the surface of the work material. Notice. When setting the working coordinates of the Z-axis, the number 1 tool must be used. Remeasure number 1 tool. After automatic measurement of number 1 tool, turn on the MPG mode and use the hand wheel to move the tool to the surface of the material.
Flick Z said. The machine will automatically record the working position of the Z axis. The position of the Z axis can be checked. Return key, then F3 setup. The Z coordinate below G54. The number here is the height from the surface of the sensor to the surface of the material. Between about 15 to 60. If it exceeds this range, it means a measurement error. If you check that this is a negative number, then be careful not to run the file, or the tool will be inserted into the desktop. Next, you need to import the cutting file into the machine. In the PC, save the prepared file to the U disk. The file format is .nc, then insert the U disk into the USB port on the machine. Press the ESC key on the keyboard, or press the return button on the left. F1 monitor. F4 USB disk. The files on the U-disk are displayed on the right. The files in the controller are displayed on the left. Select the U-disk file on the right, and then click F6 TRFR. The selected file will be copied to the controller. Go back again. F2 Edit GRP. F1 File. Select the file to be cut. Click OK. Check the upper left corner of the screen to see if the file name you need to cut is displayed. Select MEM mode. Click Cycle Start and the machine will cut automatically. When you need to shut down the machine, please press the emergency stop first, and then turn off the power of the machine.